Hey everyone, Parso here and welcome back to another Space Engineers ship review. Today I'll be looking at the AITS-170 Drake. This is a pretty cool ship, I don't know if you can just see the top here, but it's got a unusual amount of detail for a normal sort of ship of a, a large grid scale here. Granted it is a small grid at the top here, but uh, yeah, this is one of the ships of a uh, collection which are designed to sort of take uh, inspiration from a game called Star Citizen which is another space game uh, which has some pretty cool looking ships in it but anyways it sort of takes inspiration from that game and tries to bring that into Space Engineers and I think it does that quite well using a mixture of small grids and large grids now due to this grid having two grids connected to the sort of one thing if you were to try and do use this in survival it wouldn't work due to the sort of because it's like got a subgrid up there and if you try to print this in survival it, like it can only do one grid at a time but I do believe there is a way to get this in survival using fancy scripts and printing stuff far beyond my capabilities unfortunately if uh, if I find a way to do that I'll be sure to link another video in the description but uh, yeah anyways we'll get on with the tour so, it's a large ship, as you can see, in scale with me there. It's got four VTOL thrusters on the sides here, so two on one side and two on the other there. As well as that, we've got some thrusters in this little sort of little, uh, vent looking thing here. I guess thruster port, not too sure what you'd call that. And uh, we've also got some little side thrusters there and a lot of upward thrust. Another thing to note, when I pasted this in, all of the thrusters were set to a maximum thrust override. I wasn't sure if that was intentional or not, but I just had to turn that off. Otherwise, the ship just kept moving on its own. So just do be aware of that if you spawn it in in survival. I just noticed as well, we've got a, another small grid at the bottom here, making, some, making up some other little armor panel bit here. And that's just got, uh, what's that say? B002, not quite sure what that means, but uh, yeah, anyways, at the front here we've got some little sort of antennae things using the, I believe this is the neon pipes here, we've got like black neon pipes here for the sort of, I guess, base of the antennae, and then we've got like little lights at the front here, and then same there as well. We've got a little cockpit here, which has some pretty good visibility, as you can see, you can see like up, sort of, you've got a little little uh, cut in there that you can look through and I guess back here I don't know if that's relevant or not but uh, yeah I'll show you that when we get in the inside soon enough as well as that we've got a little custom turret here using two artillery cannons and a little camera there so I'll show you how that works in a moment uh, what is this we've got a little landing gear thing here and we've got two as well at the back We've also got a little connector here, so you can connect a smaller ship or you can dock with a larger one to trade resources. Although I don't think you'll be able to have a ship parked there if you have like a smaller one due to the landing gear not really giving you much leeway there, but uh, that's all right. The bottom, if I just turn my lights on, as you can see, is quite detailed. We've got some of the uh, catwalk blocks there. We've got some little warfare reactors there, some more thrusters there, and we've got a little hangar there which uh, we'll look into very soon. I've uh, got the hinges here, which are, uh, I guess, propping up the little armor panels that we have here. Not too much else. We've got two large cargo containers, as you can see there, marked with the orange. And there's not too much else. Got some hydrogen tanks, some iron, little, like metal beam thing, met uh, metal beam blocks there. And yeah, that's pretty much all for that. At the back here, we've got some little amount of thrust there, um, which I guess serves pretty well in combined with the forward thrust on the VTOL thrusters there. I do like this sort of little detail here, very subtle, but it adds a lot. These are uh, catwalks and the handrails. And at the back here we've also got two, I guess you'd call these like spoilers on the sort of tail of the top bit there. We've also got an antenna, which I thought was pretty neatly tucked in there. Sort of, it, I think this ship, it's got a good sort of uh, vector to it going from the front to the back and it, it, because of that it is very reminiscent of Star Citizen. I'll just comment on the top bit here. I do like how they've got the yellow, the grey, sort of the darker black there and the red there. I think that all really comes together. And we've got some little things here that serve as little like antennary things as well. I'll just bring my little character to the back here and we can go look in the back of the ship. 
So, first things first, I'll turn my light on. We've got this little ramp here, which I guess means you could probably have a car parked in here, although you'd probably want a landing gear. Oh, yeah, sorry, there's a magnetic pad here, so you can park a ship in here, I suppose. Um, so that's pretty useful, I guess. Uh, although it's not very big, but I guess you can fit a miner and such, and you probably won't be able to jump with it, because I don't think if a ship's attached with a landing gear, you can bring it into the uh, jump space, whatever you want to call it. But anyways, uh, we've got the jump drive here, and this is the little sort of entrance room. Not really much going on here, we've just got some corridor blocks and a uh, little corridor down here, as you can see. Got some little conveyors there, and the gyroscopes, that's what those are called. And I think this is, yeah, okay, so this is exposed to space, or this little back bit here. So just be aware with that. And we've also got a little beam block there. Moving on, we've got a little airlock. And this is where the ship sort of gets a bit fancier. So I'll just turn my head lights off there just so we can enjoy this sort of ambient lighting provided to us by the ship. We've got the white corridors here, which I guess you could say is very sort of uh, inspired by a lot of what Star Citizen does. They'll tend to have sort of a bit more rugged kind of like exteriors or like entries and then they'll have a sort of bit more of a fancy area on the inside, which I guess you could compare to back here where we have sort of just got like blacks and greys and stuff like that where it doesn't seem as fancy but uh, yeah so I'll just move on through here on the left here we've got our gravity drive as well as a window looking at the cargo large cargo container there I'm pretty sure that's what that is not much light in here so I might just turn this on real quick we've got a little storage shelf here and I believe that's just repeated on the other side here and we've got a programmable block which doesn't appear to have anything in it I think that might just be for display not too sure I will guess well I guess we will see when we get to the front there moving on we have this little sort of uh, hanger thing here I'm not too sure what it's meant to be Maybe it's when you're like above planet, you can like have people jump out, I'm not too sure, but uh, you can't really fit much of a ship in here and there's nowhere for a car or anything to connect if you would try and pick that up, but uh, I guess it doesn't hurt to have nonetheless. If we jump up here, you'll see we have two little rooms here, so we've got a little locker room here and another one over here, so I guess you could say these are like the crew quarters, although it is lacking a bed, but it's very limited space and this is space engineers. So, you, uh, you only can do what you can, and I guess it, you don't really need it, seeing it is Space Engineers. But uh, yeah, moving on, we've got the white corridor leading us through. On the left here, we have another locker room, and that just has all our armor and guns and stuff. And on the right here, we've got a shower, and of course, the infamous toilet there. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty good, doesn't hurt to have that. Uh, oh, looks like we've got two lockers there, my bad. So yeah, you've got two little locker rooms. Moving onwards. This brings us to the front of the ship, where you'll see we have two doors on the side here. And that just brings us out into the open. As you can see, that's just at the front of the ship for clarification there. And we've also got a little stairwell here. Not too sure how useful that is, seeing it doesn't lead straight to the floor, but again, I guess it doesn't really hurt to have. Um, so yeah, we'll move into the front here. This is the cockpit. It's only got one seat, which is fine I suppose but the fact that we do have the custom turret controller down there I don't know it might make a bit more sense to add another seat on your own or I don't know if the creator sees this might want to tweak that but uh, yeah as you can see in third person here I actually feel like I'm in Star Citizen just uh, the ship looks so great on the especially on the top side there but uh, yeah I'll just click tab and we can see what all the buttons do so our number one will put us in the custom turret control seat but it Oh wait, sorry, no, I think this is just... Sorry, this is the camera of the custom turret, but I believe because I didn't go and use the custom turret, we're just controlling the whole ship. So, if I click uh, 2, I think we can control that using just our, like, uh, our click button there while in the pilot seat. If I click 3, now I get the camera controls and I can also shoot stuff like that and I can zoom in. Got a little custom reticle thing there that's very nice I think. Very good job with that. But uh, yeah, it's, I believe it goes 360, yep. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's pretty good and that's just on the bottom at the front of the ship. So I'll just click F and exit out of that. Now if I click 
six, I believe, and then I click five, I can rotate the VTOL thrusters. So when you are entering a planet, you're going to want to do that because I do believe it needs to have them facing down in order to sustain itself in atmosphere, although it does have a lot of hydrogen thrusters, so I guess it just doesn't hurt to have. But nonetheless, it's a pretty cool feature, I think. So I think I can just click five again, and I can set them forward. I believe six locks them in place. If I click G, if I click five, yep, so six will lock them in place. Number nine, we'll turn on and off the antenna at the back there, as you can see, that blue little square is going on and off. Number two, on our second tab, we can control the connector at the bottom there. Number three, I haven't actually looked at before, not quite sure what that is. I believe that has to do with the custom turret controller and if we can use it or not, let's just check. Okay, so you, there is AI, never mind. Okay, so that explains why there's only one seat. So I guess you do have that option, I suppose, that will just shoot hostiles. Five and six will control our thrusters. If you look at that, we've got the hydrogen thrusters and ion thrusters. Number seven will increase the distance that we jump. Number eight will decrease and number nine will jump. And on our third tab, we don't have anything there. So yeah, it's a pretty cool ship. Um, probably one of the more like, I guess, unique ones I've seen using the small grid and like really integrating it into its design instead of sort of, I don't know, not that it's really a bad thing because we can only do our best and I sure as hell couldn't do this, but uh, a lot of people will just use these small grids to sort of, uh, I guess, complement their ship, but it doesn't really seem like it's a part of it, whereas, I don't know, this really sort of, I guess because it's maybe as large as it is, it sort of covers the whole thing, it seems to be a part of it, but uh, yeah. Anyways, um, I will crash the ship into the planet now, so I'll be right back. Alright, just before I crashed, I thought I'd just show off the ship flying in atmosphere. And I've just noticed why the thrust over override might have been on. Because we have the little VTOL thrusters trying to slow us down there, and we're not moving forward. So uh, I believe that's why it was on, but I couldn't seem to find a button set for that. But I guess just enjoy some little flight around and then I can put the VTOL thrusters down like that. I guess you can just see that for the moment being. But uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, it doesn't seem the VTOL thrusters are working right, so uh, you might need to just adjust them yourself in, uh, in the settings there. Or again, if the creator of this build watches this video, might be able to make a tweak for that and set that to the buttons in the hotbar there. Again, I'm not sure how possible that is because I don't do too many ship builds myself. But uh, yeah, anyways, just uh, enjoy the crash and I'll see you soon. Alright, it seems we got a little bit of a crash going there. Probably should have turned the power off just before crashing so it would have fallen, but uh, I guess that makes a good looking monolith nonetheless. That sort of triangle there sort of makes it look like a bit of an art sculpture, so uh, props to the creator on that, but it looks like we just lost the bridge maybe. Yeah, there's just the side 
airlock there. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, we've got a sturdy boy on our hands and it doesn't look like the small grid really broke up much either. So a uh, pretty sturdy grid there, but uh, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I love to read all the comments. And uh, we've got a little community Discord as well. You can join in the description of this video below. And if you want to download this ship, you can also find the description, the uh, link for that in the description of this video below. And uh, yeah, have a nice day. See ya.